that we live here, we care about the community, uh, and in these particular crimes, we need the community's assistance. Special Agent in Charge Sean Murrow is turning to Louisville citizens for help as the local ATF tries to solve a number of crimes involving fire and arson. When there are incidents such as Molotovs being thrown at businesses or explosives being set off in the community, ATF agents are going to respond to the scene. They're going to investigate. And they're focusing on incidents that occurred during protests after the grand jury decision in the Breonna Taylor case was announced on September 23rd, including an attempted arson at the downtown library, a vehicle arson at Spalding University, and an attempted arson at the Hall of Justice. When demonstrations or protests occur, it's important for those citizens to feel safe. Uh, the uh, incidents that we're talking about and the incidents, that the arsons that we're asking for the public's help on are crimes. Special agents are also still investigating a fire that was set at Dino's Food Mart in June. Murrow says individuals often take advantage of a gap in law enforcement when police are spread thin during large-scale protests. When they throw Molotovs or they set off an explosive or uh, perhaps they set a building on fire, that places... Uh, our community in danger. Murrow says ATF has photographs, surveillance video, and evidence from the scenes, but still needs to talk to witnesses. The Louisville field office is now offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who provides information that leads to an arrest and conviction in these cases. Really what we're interested in is maintaining the safety of the community.